Hello students in today's lecture we will see problems on consistency and its solution the problem is test for consistency and solve the system of equation as x plus y plus z equal to 6 next equation x minus y plus 2z equal to 5 next equation 3x plus y plus z equal to 8 solution of this we'll see now and we'll see whether this consistency will exist or no hello students problems in today's class we'll see the problems based on system of linear equation under consistency so here question is test for consistency and solve x plus y plus z is equal to 6 x minus y plus 2z equal to 5 3x plus y plus z is equal to 8 so here uh, x y z are the three unknowns that is nothing but small n values so solution we will see how to simplify the problem so given system of equation we need to note down that is x plus y plus z is equal to 6 x minus y plus 2 z is equal to 5 3 x plus y plus z is equal to 8 here n value is how to find the value of n so x variable y variable z will means we have x y z three variables so therefore n value is 3 these are nothing but three unknown means we need to find the value of x y z so therefore n value is three unknowns so once we got so this given system of equations we need to uh, form in the in the form of what here uh, matrix form so first we'll write what is matrix a so matrix a is what here so coefficient of x y z of all the equations that is coefficient of x in the first row is 1 1 1 second row is what here 1 coefficient of y is minus 1 coefficient of z is 2 then third row coefficient of x is 3 coefficient of y is 1 coefficient of z is 1 so this is matrix a next matrix x is nothing but variables 1 2 3 x y z so x y z are nothing but matrix b a uh, matrix x and matrix b is nothing but the value 6 5 8 Six, five, eight, nothing but what here? Matrix B. So, the given system of equation uh, that is x plus y plus z is equal to six, x minus y uh, plus two z equal to five, and three x plus y plus z is equal to eight. We have taken in the form of what here? Matrix. That is matrix A, matrix X, and matrix B. So now we know that uh, argumented matrix. The argumented matrix is. the argumented the argumented matrix is that is that is ab is can be written as what here 1 matrix a 1 1 1 1 1 2 3 1 1 1 1 so equal to 6 equal to 5 equal to 8 fine so now we need to find rank so remember so this what portion we have before this this is nothing but we will consider here dot so before this what portion we have this 1 1 1 1 minus 1 2 then 3 1 1 so this is nothing but matrix a this complete is nothing but argumented matrix ab remember we have two cases here so this only if you this part if you consider so this part is nothing but what here matrix a and this complete is nothing but what here uh, argumented matrix ab so we need to uh, apply uh, ekenol's form to this uh, above argumented matrix now so first we need to check 
the first row first element is one so already we got first row first element one so we have to make this element zero to make this element zero so we need to write a formula so this is a row two that is r2 on r2 so what to do here r2 minus r1 so therefore our aggregate matrix is going to be reduced as so first row as it is 1, 1, 1 equal to 6. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 1, minus 1. It will become minus 2. So 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 equal to 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So we got this according to the first formula. Similarly, we need to make this element also 0. So we can apply at once. Uh, in the matrix only so to make this element 0 the formula is on r3 r3 minus 3 times r1 so 3 we need to multiply for the first row so that 3 minus 3 will become 0 so 3 minus 3 is 0 then 1 minus 3 will become what here minus 2 then 1 minus 3 it will become minus 2 equal to 8 so 6 3 is up 18 so 8 minus 18 it will be 8 minus it will be minus 10 fine so once we got so we got here uh, second row first element 0 second uh, third row first element we have made 0 and you remember so this is our diagonal line so we know the diagonal line that is lower matrix we have to make 0 completely so next target is to make this element 0 what I have made round up so just it is for identification you should not uh, make uh, this one just you rem remember but to make this element 0 uh, we, we have to use uh, what here uh, second row only don't go for the first row so formula is so on r3 it will be r3 minus r2 the formula is what here r3 minus r2 so therefore or the matrix will become so first row as it is second row also as it is it is aggregate matrix a b is equal to first row as it is that is 1 1 1 equal to 6 second row also as it is 0 minus 2 1 minus 1 third row will become what here so as per the formula that is r3 formula is r3 minus r2 so 0 minus 0 is 0 next minus 2 minus of minus plus so minus 2 plus 2 0 okay so next element is minus 2 minus of 1 minus 2 minus of 1 is minus 3 and uh, next element here minus 10 into minus of minus plus so minus 10 and plus 1 it will be minus 9 so therefore the element of loss 2 uh, element of the third row is minus 3 equal to minus 9 so this is our matrix a now remember this is our matrix a so you need to concentrate here so uh, we have made uh, below the diagonal line element all zero so we this is the ignores form we have to stop the process now we need to check the rank so this is a matrix a and this complete is a nothing but what here aggregate matrix remember so this what first round i have made so this inside so rank of matrix a is number of non zero rows so this row having element this row also having element this row also having element so therefore rank is 3 and rank of augmented matrix that is AB is nothing but so this complete row having element this complete row having element this complete row having element so therefore rank is also here 3 so therefore if both the ranks are same so which implies rank of matrix a is equal to rank of augmented matrix a b so which implies the system is
consistent the system of equation is consistent okay then the system is what here consistent so then as we know that so we have n is 3 number of unknown variable so that is x y z that is x y z unknown variables 1 2 3 3 variables so therefore i can say that rank of a is equal to rank of a b is equal to what here n which is equal to 3 so i can say that so all are 3 so because so which implies the value of r is equal to n is equal to what here 3 so which is nothing but which implies the system the given system of equation is consistent and will have and will have unique solution so this is uh, one of the very important uh, kind of examples in the consistency so in this way we need to find the solution or we can test the consistency of the given system of equation now in the question they have said uh, solve the system of equation also you can really uh, test the consistency and solve so we have done till this stage is nothing but consistency to solve to solve so what we need to take here our uh, a given uh, converted aggregated matrix uh, in the equinox form so what we got here so this given equation we need to take so which is and we need to rewrite this as in the form of equation so this is nothing but x y z equal to 6 then uh, uh, x into 0 is a 0 so minus 2x plus this so this is a place of x y place and z place so therefore we can write the above aggregated matrix as x plus y plus z equal to 6 so this i have taken because of what here first row so first row all elements are there so x into 1 is x plus y into uh, 1 is y plus z into 1 is z is equal to 6 second row x into 0 is 0 leave it minus 2 into y second uh, uh, element will be what here y so i will write here minus 2y plus plus 1 into z that is z so plus z it will be equal to equal to what we have here minus sign that is minus of 1 similarly third row third row that is 0 x into 0 is 0 y into 0 is 0 plus minus 3 into z is what here minus 3z right here minus 3z equal to what we have here check minus 9 so equal to what here minus 9 now we need to miss to solve means we need to get the values of unknown that is x y z so from the last so i will give equation number one equation number two equation number three so from three so what is 3 minus 3z equal to minus 9 so minus minus cancel so which implies z is equal to what here 9 divided by 3 which is nothing but 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 so therefore the value of z is so z is equal to 3 now so from equation 2 what is equation 2 equation 2 is minus 2y plus z equal to minus 1 so minus 2y as it is z value already just now we got it it is how much here 3 so 3 you replace it equal to minus 1 so which implies so it will become 
minus 2y equal to 3 you shift to the right hand side minus 1 minus 3 so therefore minus 2y equal to minus 4 which implies y equal to minus minus cancel so 2 2 is a 4 uh, 2 2 is a 4 means y value is 2 next from equation number 1 so what is equation number 1 x plus y plus z is equal to 6 is the equation number 1 so from 1 that is x plus y plus z is equal to 6 so x value we don't know so y value we got 2 z value we got 3 equal to 6 so x is equal to 6 2 plus 3 is 5 shift to the right hand side minus 5 so which is nothing but x is equal to how much here 1 so therefore we can say that therefore x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 is the required value of unknown x y z so here so this value you remember x is equal to 1 y is equal to z is equal to 3 we got it so this equation satisfies our given system of equation so this value i want to show directly in the calculator also just observe here see this is our given question so x plus so this is our given question so from this question only so what is the value of x y z so i want to show using the calculator now so just observe here okay now you just use the calculator in this way so we have mode option i am pressing mode here if you press mode option you can see m o d e they have written so if you press mode you have the option first one is comp, comp second one is complex third one is s a s t a t stat so base n so th fifth one is what here equation uh, sixth one is matrix seventh one is table uh, and eighth one is vector so uh, we are solving the equation means fifth one we need to use so fifth one we need to press in the calculator keypad 5 so once we uh, press so you will get a different kind of equations so this first equation is what here uh, having how many variables c here a n x plus b n y means only two unknowns are there x and y so but here we have three unknowns x y z so therefore you need to choose three unknown equation that is a x plus b y plus c z that is general form so x y z three variables are there so therefore option two you need to press so if you press option two so uh, it will ask the values here so what are the values here coefficient of x is one so type one it will take here then equal to sign coefficient of y is one press one equal to sign coefficient of z is one equal to sign next constant value is six equal to sign so first row is completed second row coefficient of x is one press one coefficient of y is minus one minus one equal to sign then coefficient of z is two press two and equal to sign then it will ask the value of constant that is d so coefficient of d is nothing but five that is five it will take third row so coefficient of x is three then coefficient of y is one then coefficient of z is one then next constant value is eight once you enter so once again you press equal to sign so it on the screen you will find x is equal to one which is already we got it you can see here so x is equal to one already we got it next second value press one more time y value it will showing two here so we got the answer manually two press one more time z is equal to three so which is also what here z is equal to three so using calculator we can find the values here but uh, they have asked to find the value just using calculator we can verify whether uh, what values of x y z we got it it is correct or no so in this way this uh, uh, solution of the system of equations also we can find uh, under this uh, consistency so first here because the question is what here so we need to test for consistency and solve solve means we need to find the solution of this so if the question comes test the consistency we need to stop uh, only uh, till what here uh, this stage what we have taken uh, till this stage we need to stop uh, till here 
but uh, if they ask the value then we need to find the uh, what here the values of x y z so in this way so we need to solve the given system of equation 